When I saw Joe Moscolo again, first thing I did was go over and kiss him. So that gave, that showed that Andre had a heart. I wanted to grab the audience at the beginning. I didn't want to come in like a cartoon, oh, he comes, what's he up to? So the mystery's there. And, uh, and at the same time, I think I, not expecting this one to be in the family and then finding what a little upstart he is. Um, old school as opposed to new school. Boundaries, breaking boundaries. Uh, no differentiation between the ages. He just talks to me like, you know, I'm a pal. And I conduct myself like I'm his elder. And I came from the school that you respect your elders because they've been here longer. But there are elements that are coming for the character that brings a lot of emotion, a lot of compassion. And it's interesting in the way he plays with that emotion and compassion. It makes a good contrast. I think I think it's interesting. I mean, it's I think the difference between our characters. It's a, you can actually see the kind of the the generational difference in, in in how I think people people are raised in the way. I mean, it's it's true, and in, in the, the fact that I I grew up I grew up not having really family. Period. But I don't know who he is. I don't know the stories. I don't know I don't know anything. So when I see him, whatever to me, he's just he's just this this man who who's Who's trying to be a part of my life in a time in which I don't I don't want him to be I don't want anybody to be a part of it. Yeah, I think it's interesting his dynamic <clears throat> because of the way he responds to someone he didn't even know existed, and how suddenly I've entered the family, and it's I'm not a pushover, and at the same time he doesn't want to reveal anything, so it's kind of glib, and at the same time I'm being patient, but at the same time I'm also being manipulative. Yeah, it's. I mean, I mean, I kind of look. One of my favorite movies is The Warrior with Tom Hardy and, and whatever. And um, and there's a, there's a sense of kind of the way Tom Hardy's character was. He's so closed off. He he keeps everything right, right here. And and it, to him it's just, yes. Don't forget the wink, the wink, baby. No, no, I thought he said the wedding. Um, but yeah. So he just, um, he keeps everything really, really, really close. And and to him, he's just he's just he's not a brother. He's a man. It's shocking what's coming. Yeah. That's all I get. The, the, what's coming in November sweeps now is shocking. And the one thing I do love, I must say, about being a Demera, and he's a Demera, and Joe's a Demera, is that the Demeras are not stupid. They're bright characters. They have a certain style, as opposed to, in contrast to... the Very other. layered. Yeah, we're very layered. Somebody said today, I love the Demeras because they're so deep. They were talking about you, though. Well, they had to have been. <laughs> You're an icy shell. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a crevice of emotion. Uh, the violin concerto come out now. Yeah. Right, right, right. He makes fun of my clothes. You know, he get, tries to get back at me in certain ways. You know? At the end of the day, we well, love he each makes other. My behavior, you know, a little disturbing at times, but you know, doesn't it? <laughs> 